Hi, this is Dana, and on this channel I speak about spiritual warfare. Um, I have another channel on which I speak about astrology. Uh, my Facebook page you can find in the description box below, and any other channel or account uh, aside from this are not mine, not created by me, uh, but by individuals who copy me. Okay, now in this video, God has guided me to talk about um, my business, um, the business I, I'm, I'm working on um, to put together and to open for some time, um, but uh, of course it's still not uh, fully developed. I'm still adjusting. Um, this will be a spiritually based business. Um, it is not fully developed and uh, actually my concept has been transforming throughout years um, according to whatever uh, changes took place in my life in because of the spiritual fighting that I carry on. Namely, you know, certain things were blocked from me, certain things were stolen from me throughout this spiritual fighting. Um, I discovered new gifts and obviously, as I advised everyone, I myself do the same, namely that I um, do my best to engage with all my gifts uh, because, uh, first of all, uh, it's, um, it's a healing process, so it's important that everyone develops all their abilities in all the uh, fields where they have gifts. Um, and second of all, uh, because as I explained in previous videos, um, these individuals created the 3D practices by stealing or claiming um, certain uh, fields, uh, you know. So uh, they don't work with deities, for example. Uh, I will talk about water because this is part of my domain. So they don't work with uh, water deities. There's no such thing. I can tell you this. I, I researched this. Um, this is part of the uh, part of the purpose why I came into 3D. Uh, it is uh, the hydromancy they do. It is not really um, hydromancy. They don't work with water deities. No water deity works with them. Uh, but they do use water to multiply um, their um, darkness attacks. And uh, basically they just claim the domain in order to block the water deities to have an impact over the people in 3D. This applies to each and every field. You must understand, and this is part of, uh, of what we are supposed to be doing. Everyone should understand their own identity in spiritual terms. And your own identity has a, a very strong connection to the purpose why you came here. Uh, most of us came here to clear those gifts because this is how they got power. Uh, because uh, if everybody will uh, stay in their power and own their gifts and work with their gifts, um, basically, all the uh, illusion and confusion they create in uh, 3D will be casted out. So this is very important. It has a spiritual meaning to do this. It's not just uh, for fun or for earning money, but it has a spiritual purpose. And also, of course, you gain more beneficity as you work with your gifts. You get guidance how to work with them in order to impact more people. You get more uh, beneficity and more support from the divine realm in bringing that into existence, right? Uh, so uh, this is very important. Um, and of course, it's uh, God will help you to integrate the uh, knowledge you gain throughout your 3D existence. That was one of my questions. You know, I said, what the hell did I go to so many schools then to study uh, military defense and, and uh, strategic studies and uh, foreign policy and international relations. And God has said that that will always be uh, integrated in what you will do in the future. It's not a waste of time. It's a knowledge which will help you develop different ways uh, of, of um, uh, earning income uh, and of creating, basically. Anyhow, so God has guided me to talk about uh, the business as it looks in this phase, normally I wouldn't present my plans to anyone, particularly not in the phase that I'm in right now, because I'm, um, uh, I, ch I shifted and changed the topics and the ideas so much throughout the years. Sometimes I did post on my Facebook account uh, and page uh, some of the plans that I had and things that I wanted to work on, like when I... I 
basically posted uh, that I wanted to work with uh, and for animals, uh, women particularly, uh, to devote a specific uh, business div or activity, if you want to call it, um, to women that because there are specific attacks on women and uh, there are uh, specific reasons why they do this and what they gain, they stand to gain by claiming women and so on. Anyhow, uh, so I did post this in the in the past uh, about animals, homeless women, uh, but um, because God uh, always uh, took me to more spiritual fighting, which didn't give me the money or the time to invest in these topics. I said to God, you know, I'm not going to publish anything until you actually settle down and we start building something because this is crazy. Normally, <laughs> I actually said I wouldn't I would um, just fire everyone who uh, presents himself like this to me uh, because this is not a business look uh, approach. Anyhow. Um, since then I transformed my plans many times. Now they look in a certain way. Um, God has guided me to speak about it. Um, on one hand, as I understand this, because this is a special time, at least for me, I celebrate it as a special time, the lion's gate. And I explained in previous video why, because I have a special connection with, um, uh, the blue lodge, uh, Sirius, uh, and lion race and ascended masters. Uh, and this is their celebration. This is the time when they come through uh, in order to help the ascension more than usual. Uh, and they come together as a group. Uh, so <clears throat> I celebrate this, obviously. Um, so uh, God has guided me to speak about my business in this specific time. First of all, to speak it into existence. Um, and uh, second, I, as I understand, it will help some other people. Uh, who they themselves <clears throat> are breaking free from uh, 3D uh, and they are in the process of reshaping, redesigning their lives in order to have income. Of course, everybody needs income. As long as we are in 3D, we all need income. And I said in other videos, um, of course, God will help and will make miracles, but you have to build up something and you have to move forward for God to have um, a place where to bring the miracle, right? So you need to, to build the foundation and to start <clears throat> making it work in to some extent. Even if he will bring a, a miracle to you, somebody who wants to invest or donate or, um, I don't know, an inheritance or something, whatever he brings, he has to bring it to something. So you have to build something. Uh, and this is one of the conditions in the karmic board meeting, uh, one of the conditions and evaluations. Um, what are you going to do with the resources which are uh, sent to you? Are you building something or are you just dreaming of building something? And when you get the money, you just waste the money away. So this is part of the process of creation and manifestation. You must make uh, 3D steps in order to bring into manifestation anything anything. You must take steps in 3D and, and to start creating. And somewhere along the way, when um, every when the conditions are proper and when um, you have built enough and proved yourself enough, uh, the miracle will come. And let me tell you something also before I enter into the business issue. Um, I have experienced this because I think this is important for people um, to understand. I have experienced this, for example, when a long period of time God said, you want this through your fight, uh, this amount of money, so you will do this with them, basically. Um, and that was like, what, then why don't you give me the money? Give me the money then. <laughs> if I want them, give me the money. So I'll start, I'll start building because uh, this is crazy. Um, and God wouldn't, just wouldn't, basically. So I couldn't explain to myself and I got no answer when I kept asking, why am I not receiving the money then? I want to move on. I want to build. I want to do. I want to. And this has happened in the past, long time ago. Uh, and then an incident happened, namely somebody who was close to me, uh, betrayed me, and God has shown to me. That individual actually uh, came with a proposal, with something, and uh, I didn't have the money, so I was pretty angry. I was like, if I had the money now, we could start together this, and I could have done this, and I could have done that, and I could have, you know, I was like, as I said previously, I'm very much 
um, goal oriented, very much result oriented. I don't like to, um, I'm not patient. I don't like to just uh, waste time uh, staying in one place and not doing anything. Um, and later on, God has shown to me that individual <clears throat> was paid uh, by, the con by a convent to come with that proposal. And God has shown to me there are specific individuals uh, which are part of your bondage breaking and who will come your way in your spiritual fighting because they have done this in previous lifetimes towards different embodiments of you uh, and they will come your way because this is part of the karmic uh, meeting that you're supposed to encounter that you're supposed to have with them. Uh, you're supposed to clear that out, um, that karma and what it created. And we will not give you the money until we know you are safe. Simply because uh, if you don't have enough information, you run the risk of making the same mistake again and giving the money to somebody who will steal them or not giving the money, but partnering with somebody who pretends to give you some money, which is actually a breadcrumbing as compared to your uh, worth, how much you deserve to receive. Uh, and they will just steal your business or... Uh, if they don't succeed to steal it completely from you, they will just make sure to block you, like it happened in the past. Uh, so this is why we're not giving you the money, because if you had the money now, you would have started this, and this would not have, not have been beneficial. So I am telling you this because I know it's frustrating, and it took time for me to understand. So God didn't reveal this to me until I actually broke that bondage and clear that karma. Namely, I didn't do the business with that individual. But I learned why later on. Okay, So I'm giving this information out so people that don't really receive the money or, or the resources they request to know that it's always a reason. And usually it's a protection from the divine realm for you and for the rights you have. Because otherwise, if they give you the rights until you cross that uh, line, um, basically there is already created a bondage or a karmic situation where somebody betrayed you and stole that from you. So you must know this uh, because I think it will save you a lot of anger. <laughs> okay, so now I will talk about how uh, my business looks now. Uh, it doesn't look really good because uh, for a full year I've been preparing to actually relocate and I, I truly believe that I will start my business in my uh, new location. God now is guiding me to start uh, parts of the business, not the full business, but to start working on my business because this is um, working in terms of creating and selling products. So actually putting in motion the business um, because also this is part of the manifestation. As I said, um, there are uh, strategic reasons why I'm not relocated yet. Uh, and there are specific delays uh, which basically are not decided by me. I, I would live today, uh, but God decided this. Um, so I'm not developing fully the entire business here, but um, God is guiding me to start working and, and actually start uh, selling things out, putting in motion. Uh, so I will just list now a few um, <clears throat> fields in which I will do this and I will make a website so for you it will be easy to actually reach that information for those who are interested to actually uh, purchase. Um, so uh, there are <clears throat> a few fields. One is the cleansing. So of course it has a spiritual purpose. So one thing will be items that I will create in, for cleansing purposes, right? Uh, and this, of course, you have here the food and, and the drinks. And there are specific recipes which God uh, actually guided me to use throughout my spiritual fighting because uh, there's a lot of darkness thrown at you. So you need to eat specific food for spe and drinks, specific drinks for specific um, organs which are affected in your body. So you can actually push the darkness out. Uh, so you can actually heal uh, that. And uh, actually, I, if you look on my Facebook account, and also I made a video on this issue regarding uh, food and how you prepare uh, your body, how you cleanse your body. 
um, there are recipes which God has given me throughout my spiritual fighting, and I will create them uh, for the public. Also, cooking with your own hands uh, transfers your own energy uh, to other people, so it has a healing effect. Uh, this is why, actually, one of the um, dimensions uh, to the food uh, business, uh, for me at least, will be related to the homeless because I, I want to create to create these recipes, make food, sell food, but I also want to have um, a, spe a special um, part of the business which is devoted to homeless people um, to help them with my food. Uh, to deliver food to them so they can actually heal and, and find uh, their way back. Um, okay, so then there is the body care, uh, which is external body. The food is internal body, then uh, external body, but also for cleansing purpose. And here again, there are a few um, recipes which I already know of um, how you create a cleansing lotion, uh, which has a tremendous uh, impact in pushing out energy. This is uh, for your body, but also is for the house. You can use the same uh, cleansing for washing the floors of your house, for washing items you touch, um, everything in the house, for cleansing the house, basically. Uh, and some of them <coughs> I received from God, <coughs> but some of them I learned about uh, them in my spiritual journey from different other spiritualists uh, who used them and, and recommended them. And I will create this this as well, um, of course. So this is about cleansing. Then it's for protection. And here for protection, I was think I, I I was planning actually, as I said in the other video, to create candles, uh, sigils, um, which basically would mean a prayer, a specific prayer dedicated to each uh, candle. Ideally, I would like to do uh, this uh, personalized. That means that you would have an idea what that individual who requests the candle um, needs, uh, and then you tailor the prayer on that, because uh, one of uh, the things that I want to do is to write prayers, of course, and um, amulets as well I, wanted to, I want to create. Then God has guided me to create clothing, uh, also for the same reason, because as you create them with your own hands, then you put your energy in it, and clothing for protecting specific uh, uh, chakras, for example, uh, the crown chakra, which is very much attacked um, during uh, spiritual fighting, and particularly during uh, the dark night of the soul. Um, this also is protection, again. Um, and if you do this with prayer and so on, this, is, uh, this protects and cleanses at the same time, right? Um, so this can be done, as I said, in general, for example... Uh, you can do candles for a certain chakra, uh, for cleansing for that chakra. But this implies the individual who buys it has enough awareness to understand what kind of chakra is being attacked. Because otherwise, you just purchase randomly and it's not for sure that it can help anyone because darkness is so, so strong nowadays that uh, any healing is good. But um, to have an impact... Actually, it should be personalized. I'm not quite sure how would I do this uh, because that would involve to actually know who's the buyer and to do a, at least a brief uh, uh, overview of that individual, if not a full reading. Uh, but um, <clears throat> I can do all of this in, in general terms, like uh, for specific topics, for specific type of attacks. And I can, uh, this is my latest uh, thought about it, that I will go through my um, prophetic writings and, and through my research, and I will create these kind of items and food for each type of attack. When you have a soul um, a contract, basically you need to wear this and that and do this and say this prayer. When you do this, that, you know, and I will create basically like packages for each type of attack in which I include also amulets, some item of clothing that is uh, protecting and also some something to drink, something to cleanse, something, maybe not food because it's perishable. So uh, if people don't order it, then um, it goes to a waste. But um, or house cleansing or clothes uh, cleansing, uh, you know, lotions to clean your clothes and stuff. So I will create this, all of this, of course. 
um, and I will create for different type of groups, different type of um, of um, attacks to answer uh, and to protect and to strengthen, basically, um, right? And uh, this should take some time to develop. At this point in time, because I'm not relocated yet, I will not fully develop it, and also because I didn't receive the resources yet, uh, I will not uh, fully develop it, but God has guided me to start uh, with some items. Even if I don't do this professionally as I would prefer to, systematically, with, uh, with a systematic plan and so on, God said, just start with a few items, make some candles, make some, because you need to start working on it, because you already received the resources in astral, in uh, in spiritual realm, so you now have you have to put it in motion in 3D. If I would have relocated, I would have fully put it in motion by now, but then I'm still here. So then, of course, I will focus on uh, book writing. Uh, I already said this, and on I I keep this very dear on my uh, spiritual research and investigation with God and and with the divine realm. I will continue to do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure God will give me different ways. Um, and different uh, bondages to work on. Um, God is saying to me different people to work with. Uh, we will see about that, how that can come about. Um, but definitely this is part of um, a part of my work which is very dear to me, and I will not give it up. And uh, I want uh, to continue to, to uh, bring uh, information um, from Divine Realm to 3D so we can actually reestablish uh, the Divine Truth. Um, so definitely, and some of it also, uh, actually this last part, the book writing and the investigation and research, um, is an opportunity for me to engage my knowledge um, and um, abilities uh, from uh, what was my career before I started uh, this uh, um, complete focus on spirituality and so on. So yeah, I will continue that as well. Um, and ideally, God keeps saying this to me for some months, that this will be part of my business. It's not clear to me how, <laughs> but God insists on this, that this will become a business, uh, basically, an income uh, um, bringing uh, type of uh, endeavor. We will see how that will happen. Now, this is only part, and God has guided me to also talk about um, something which I did write in a prophetic writing. I explained in one prophetic writing um, but he wants me to talk about this in this context because I guess this will be an example for people how they can adapt, right? So when I initially moved in the place where I live now, uh, it was in 2016, and it's um, outside of the city, and this decision basically uh, came in a certain context. I will not enter into all details of my life now. Um, the point is, though, that in 2015, um, there were events uh, in Romania which led me, which I investigated on my own, simply because spirituality was an uh, important part of my private life. And I cared about uh, all of this. So I did um, research, investigated, and tried to understand certain processes. But on my spare time for myself, not talking with anyone about it. Um, you must understand, it was very private up to that point for me, uh, this. And um, there were certain events which took place which led me to believe that spirituality is under attack in Romania. And at the time, I was going to church very often. Uh, so uh, church and my uh, spiritual life were close, uh, closely connected, although my spiritual uh, practice and existence was my own in my privacy or uh, in the privacy of the certain sacred sites I used to visit very often, very often. Uh, I used to go to sacred sites. Um, and um, at the time, so I discussed, I was approached in one of the uh, networking, club networking uh, related to foreign policy and security, which I was normally attending as part of my professional network. Um, I was approached by an individual from a uh, church. He was actually the counselor. Um, I, I believe he still is. I don't know. Um, the counselor to the uh, 
patriarch, uh, that's the head of the church, of the Romanian church, right? Um, and um, he was talking to me about these incidents, you know, and that was the first time when I actually shared my opinion on it. And I explained my opinion. I said, I researched this, I researched this. Um, I think this was a sacrifice ritual. And I think this was uh, directly uh, targeting uh, the church. Uh, and I explained, you know, my logic in that uh, circumstance. All in all together to uh, go through this briefly, that individual uh, asked me, uh, would you please uh, be willing to be sort of uh, speaking um, to, in support of the church? Because we need people outside from the church to speak for the church. Um, so the public will understand. And we need people that actually um, have charisma and are actually respected enough that uh, already have a leadership um, allure to them. And people will follow them and will listen to them. And we believe you are one of them. So we would be grateful if you would speak on our uh, about uh, not necessarily on our behalf, uh, because we don't endorse you with a mandate, but uh, in our support. And actually, um, at the time, I was very uh, unpleased with things that were happening at my workplace. As I said, I was a diplomat for 27 years, and um, I was very determined to leave the MFA uh, because things were going very wrong uh, in my evaluation. But of course, I was looking for um, a way uh, to transition um, out of diplomacy into a different field, um, a way um, grace to gracefully transition, <laughs> you know, uh, and to actually have something stable to go to, not to move uh, out of uh, uh, income providing uh, position into nothing, of course. So I said to this individual, I said, you know, not only that I'm willing to do this, I will create an event, uh, you know, if you want, so we can evaluate how, um, which are the people that um, would be willing to speak, what is the, re the um, reaction of, of certain public. So it will not be a public event, it will be more like a test event. So we will hand uh, select uh, certain people that I want to um, monitor. They will not know that this is a, uh, basically a test which we are um, uh, giving and we just need to know how they react. We did this and essentially my verdict was to him, look, the way you go about doing this is very wrong. You you cannot have three people standing up in a crowd of ignorant uh, people and be talking about this stuff. Um, and even if they do and even if I have the charisma necessary, they will only listen to me because they... Um, they like me and they believe me, but they wouldn't pay attention to the topic. Uh, this topic to become public uh, issue, it must, it need, it needs education. It needs education for your leaders to be able to speak on this topic eloquently and knowledgeable, and it is, needs education also for the public. Um, so what I'm willing to do because I'm not really happy with. Um, where things are going in my career in MFA. So um, if you want, I can make um, a project for this. We can apply for uh, money and I can develop um, a business in which basically I train um, certain people that you pick and choose, uh, that you want them to speak uh, on these topics publicly in different environments, in different uh, circumstances. Uh, and I will make sort of like, um, a book, I don't know how to call this, like a compendium of uh, teachings um, and tests and abilities and, and things uh, for individuals to go through, sort of like a training on how you speak about this publicly without, uh, especially if you talk to ignorant public or if you talk to already knowledgeable people but they have the wrong perceptions uh, about things. So uh, basically I put together sort of like a um, business plan um, and um, I had everything uh, uh, everything uh, planned, basically, and on paper uh, discussed. I found a, um, some individuals who were um, specialized in writing projects for European um, uh, EU money, uh, and uh, I decided I'll move out of the city, and I will buy a um, house 
which uh, basically will be uh, sort of like a twin house uh, whereby uh, one house is my uh, residence and the other house will be um, the headquarter of this uh, um, this business which I would develop and I figured you know this is gonna work out perfect I'm selling my apartment actually I had two apartments at the time I'm selling my apartments to buy uh, my own house and um, in the same courtyard, I will have the business, which was supposed to be funded from those, um, from those money, those resources we were receiving on my project. Anyhow, I figured this is perfect. I get out of uh, MFA. I have my own uh, business to develop, which I love. It's going to be on spirituality. Uh, Chernika is one of the places where uh, beautiful monasteries are around, and um, it's very much considered a spiritual place place it is called um, the Tabor mountain in Romania uh, so I figured this is perfect and we can have uh, debates there we have we can have uh, group classes and and so on so I had the whole plan anyhow to cut it short um, the individual uh, I sold my apartment I bought the house and um, I was only uh, supposed to receive uh, in a matter of weeks uh, all the money in order to pay for the uh, headquarter of the business and to start setting up the entire infrastructure and the business itself to start creating um, the classes and so on. Um, and that's when basically everybody disappeared, the individual uh, who actually asked me to do all of this and with whom I consulted throughout all this process. I did not just go by myself and do this. I, we, we had a clear understanding of doing this. Um, and um, he disappeared um, and uh, the individual who was supposed to write the um, and uh, place the bid for the European money because you need a certain time uh, of experience as a company to uh, receive European funds basically they all disappeared um, and also my uh, funds disappeared <laughs> and also they took my project uh, with them so um this is one of the examples of stolen resources uh, and projects. And this is why God is cautioning me so much because um, um, he said, this has been done to you. They stole your idea many times. They came to you faking uh, interest in investing in your um, ideas. And actually they stole your ideas. They stole the resources allocated to your idea and they uh, developed uh, what was supposed to be your business and they will not have success we will not allow them to do this because they don't have the proper knowledge to uh, pass forward uh, through that business it is you who has the knowledge but unfortunately they tricked you um, so this is why next time we're not giving you resources until you actually build something on your own and uh, you identify the proper uh, people with whom um, you will uh, not develop the business together, but you will accept to engage and work together on specific projects. Um, now, this was the initial idea. And from this, what I thought I will do uh, throughout my spiritual fighting, I identify things which were necessary, useful, and sometimes vital to me in the spiritual fighting itself, right? Um, so, um, God basically said, I want you to talk about both, about what were your intentions when you came here in, in Chernika. Well, as I explained in other writings, the local convent, uh, in Chernika about whom I had no clue it existed, that individual from church didn't tell me, although the church is involved in the convent. Uh, so it was shown to me that they've actually pushed me. Uh, into this area on purpose, but never mind now. Um, judgment and punishment will be upon them. Um, they uh, blocked me and then they started spiritual attacks on me. Uh, so to make sure that I don't develop the project. And uh, it was not enough that they stole the money and, and uh, the house and everything. Uh, but um, they actually wanted to make sure that I don't develop the project as well. Uh, so... God has said to me, I want you to talk about both that which you intended when you moved there and 
what actually are your plans because God wants the message that God wants me to convey actually through all this story uh, is that you need to transform many times your plans so this was my initial plan then each and every um, spiritual battle that I carried on um, shed more light for me on what is useful what is needed to my mind at least you know uh, what helped me basically you know, and sometimes I actually have arguments with God because I, God says, I don't want you to do this. And I keep saying, but you're not in human form. Excuse me. You don't know. Uh, like this might seem stupid to you just as in human form. This gives some sort of um, consolation and it gives a, a, a temporary relief and joy. So <laughs> we have arguments about what I should do and what I shouldn't. So God wants people to see, you know, how although you started this way uh, and they succeeded to block everything for me, to steal everything and block everything for me, um, then uh, through your spiritual fighting, God will take you through some experiences in which you will gain a certain knowledge which will empower you to uh, create a different type of business. So you will still get the resources, you will still build the business. This is the message, basically, God shows me. You will still get them. You just need to shift and change your ideas and your plans because the initial ideas and plans were blocked. So They create, listen to me, they create curses, uh, ritualic practices on that idea. So you will not be able to develop, so they will use the wording so many times what God has shown to me is that instead of wasting time to fight to unblock something which they uh, blocked, you can shift and change the topic and recreate something totally different or a little bit different where God can send you the resources which you gained and you can still develop what you were supposed to develop. This is uh, basically the message that he wants me to show. And let me tell you something. In 2018, when the spiritual um, attacks um, were launched at me in a very uh, brutal way, I was planning to do a retreat resort. I was planning to do a retreat resort uh, where a, a similar idea of what I in initially intended to do, but I was more focused on research and on small groups. I was thinking even like uh, summer camps for children that will come and I will teach them to develop the abilities or to identify their gifts or to identify their path and so on. Uh, and they uh, teach them how to cleanse energy, how to protect. Because children are being attacked and used in astral. They should be taught how to protect at a very early age because they use them at a very early age. Okay, so... This was in 2018. So I still changed my plans many times. This is what I'm saying. And then when I, when 2019, when I left on spiritual journey, I asked God, uh, can this spiritual journey lead me to my relocation place where I would like to build a retreat resort? Uh, so I will focus on this and I will create, um, you know, uh, specific uh, programs um, with uh, specific practices among which uh, the meditations, which I have been describing in my uh, videos. These are uh, my dogs, which they keep getting annoyed by the neighbors. Uh, and they're too close to my door, so you can hear them, uh, actually. Um, so I was uh, hoping to develop um, certain um, practices with specific meditations, and, and I would uh, create a routine of my own with those things which God would show me that are unique uh, to me. So I have um, upper hand in teaching those, um, like, you know, the um, um, mystic prayer, for example, the um, Kundalini rise, the spiritually uh, Kundalini rise in meditation, because this is very important. This is very wrongly taught uh, to be associated with sexuality when it's not, uh, and it, it only pertains to a specific uh, energy cleansing um, that you can do on your own uh, and it doesn't necessarily it doesn't have to it's not necessarily it doesn't have to be connected at all with sexuality of course you can do that way as well but 
this is only a stupid trap to lure you in because it will um, generate uh, different addictions and they only did this in order to ha uh, to harvest sexual energy with, which is vital energy from individuals uh, and that was a stupid uh, way to go um, so anyhow basically I had a different idea for example in 2018 when I wanted to do this uh, when I left in spiritual journey God decided that I have to return here in Chernika and he said you have unfinished business here and wherever you go it will follow you they will do body jumping um, through uh, everywhere you go uh, into new people that you meet people who might be um, well intended and um, who might want to actually work with you uh, but they will get influenced that's so not that's not your business it's their test in spiritual terms and uh, they should have passed it but the point is you got to finish the unfinished business here so you can actually break free of them so they won't follow you everywhere um, so I didn't uh, set up the retreat resort. I came back to continue the spiritual fighting, which I have done uh, since then. Uh, but at this point in time, I'm setting in motion this. God has said, um, we cannot wait until you actually um, uh, bring everything into being uh, all at once as you want it. Uh, so can you please start creating some of these items and selling them? Because I need you to, to put in motion the business. Um, so I gave you all of these examples about my private business, <laughs> uh, because as I understand, there are other people who stand to benefit, uh, from, uh, the guidance I received from God on my matter, uh, in different ways. So you can adapt and you can readjust, um, and you can start small with something else in order to set in motion while you still keep, um, um, certain plans at hand and you still pray over them and you still infuse them with energy and you still request them from a karmic board and uh, sooner or later you will get to develop that as well uh, this is the message I, um, I have got um, I hope this helps you uh, and I hope you will also take advantage of this uh, ceremonial uh, time of uh, Lion's Gate uh, when um, all Ascended Masters um, are um, helping uh, to bring into being um, things which are beneficial for each individual. <clears throat> you see how somebody is upset. I'm sorry, you know, I, I keep having these uh, attacks on my throat. <clears> throat> so um, I have to clear my throat as I speak uh, on these videos. Um, so I hope it doesn't bother you. Um, but uh, even if it bothers you, there's nothing I can do as long as I am still here. Um, okay, so I'll see you in the next video. I will try to make a website with all the information about the items um, that I will be able to sell right now. And maybe God says to me, also I would list all other items and maybe just uh, make a sign which ones are available as we speak right now or I can create uh, in very short time. Um, and before I get to do the website, maybe I will put in the description box or maybe um, if my community board opens soon enough, I will play, put on the community board the information. Um, I hope you will receive uh, both guidance, resources and support for, um, for your plans.